Tucked in the district of Ghaziabad, Uttar Pradesh is a dream that twinkles in the eyes of two sisters which till date has been a caring shelter for over 3,000 souls. Since last three years, the living dream is the hope for the abandoned, the sick and the street born. PFA Ghaziabad 2 started only with an ambulance. We had no shelter, no place, just an ambulance that would pick and drop animals to the nearby hospital. But then because commuting was a problem, we realized we needed a place. And so we struggled hard and we finally got this place. From individual and personal love for animals, Sumedha and Sumati took on an extremely challenging task of providing better care and services to the stray animals of Ghaziabad. Fighting against animal abuse and creating awareness about the same was also an area of focus. There's a lot of cruelty around. They beat dogs, they've thrown acid on cows, there have been bulls attacked with iron rods, inhuman things, things that you can't imagine of. Since the very beginning, PFA Ghaziabad 2 strongly believes in the principle of maximum welfare and minimum stay for animals who are brought in or come to the hospital and shelter. Hospital or a shelter should only be a transit point. So they come, they're treated and then they find good homes. That's the ideal condition. When it comes to the ability to feel pain, suffering, hunger, thirst, emotions such as sadness and happiness. Actually, no man, boy, girl is different than any animal. They are all same. The PFA team mailed Dr. Andrew Trofford, a UK-based, extremely experienced veterinary doctor and an eminent name in animal welfare and rights across the globe. After coming to India, Dr. Andrew realized that sensitization towards animal and animal issues is extremely needed. Everybody in their lives will see animal suffering. What we need to do is to sensitize the whole population of India to the fact to remember those instances in their childhood. Because children don't grow up cruel, they grow up loving and it's driven out of them by other things. What we need to do is take them back to their childhood so that they remember those animals that they felt sorry for. Animal issues have received scant critical attention globally. Coming from the eminent Gandhi family, Srimati Menika Gandhi is certainly one name you cannot overlook if you are discussing animal rights in India. You need to be aware that they should be on a political agenda. By law, that a government should do is to make a state animal welfare board, put money into it, and use that to make uh, animal NGOs saksham in their own areas. Like almost all animal NGOs across the globe, PFA Ghaziabad 2 is also finding great difficulties in generating funds. All this while the two sisters have managed to run the shelter at their own expense. But there are no two stands on the fact that any help, whether cash or kind, is the need of the hour for the organization's survival. It is tough. Very, very tough. Sometimes it is our own money, sometimes it is friends, relatives, some volunteers of course. We, sometimes it's God. Funding is crucial. Without funding you cannot exist. They have a lot of difficulty with money and donations. It really feels sad that the only help PFA Ghaziabad 2 right now gets is 
individual donations which just trickles in it's running on a drip i'll say you know a drip like a iv line you have that supports you so it's like that it's drop by drop so any time if it is plugged they will go lifeless betrayed frightened and confused are the emotions that we leave these animals with for all the directionless animals on streets of ghaziabad there is a home called pfa and parents called sumati sumedha fezan and sushmita let's just extend a helping hand to save another life another bhuri another babuji